We are so blessed to be able to fish beautiful, pristine Catalina Island. Always a pleasure to fish there, especially on the backside of the island. We had superior calico bass fishing, but there were a couple of keys. You had to make a long enough cast to get back into the kelp, look for the holes in the kelp, and cast your sardine right in there. It didn't seem to make any difference what pound fluorocarbon you were using. Terrence, who was on board, had an easy limit of nice bass, and he was fishing 30 pound. A good hot bait, changing that bait regularly, and making that long cast really paid off. Fun calico bass fishing at Catalina Island. Hope you get out soon. Excellent fishing on board the El Patron out of 22nd Street Landing in beautiful San Pedro, California. Limits of bluefin tuna. Let's put you on the deck of the El Patron. <laughs> Got him. Full bows bent. Got four hanging over under. Oh, it's good stuff. Bluefin tuna bite in Southern California keeps rocking on. Great fishing again here today. <laughs> hey, good morning, my friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California, here in Southern California. It is a gloriously beautiful Monday morning, and I can't thank you enough for spending some time with me. Is the California state record for big eye tuna about to fall? Man, I think it would have already fallen. We'll tell you about that story in just a moment. And some other big, big eye tuna that have moved into California waters. First time in a long time. Bluefin tuna to almost 300 pounds. Are we going to get a fish that gets to 400 pounds this year? Things are really crazy right now. And last night on the Pegasus, they are almost at limits. The last time I talked to Jacob Barclay, he's running the boat, he told me there was a color that you needed to have to get a bite last night on the bluefin tuna. And a remarkable bite for them, but you had to have this color. We'll have all of that and so much more. You know what time it is. Good morning, everybody. It's time for the morning briefing. Oh, needed that, man. That is so good. And it is so good to be with you all. Thank you for helping us to continue to soar with our stats. It's all due to your great support. I can't thank you enough. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share these videos if you are enjoying them. Comment down below right now and also tick the bell. You'll be notified when there is new content available for you. And we have breaking news all the time for each and every one of you. Don't forget, we are on the Independence sailing for a five-day trip that promises to be spectacular. Five days sailing October the 20th. I'll be there shooting a video of you catching your prize fish. Get on that trip. It's going to be a good one. Independentswordfishing.com. If you're going lobster fishing, you're going to buy your stuff by going to the Promar Ahi website. Make sure you put in Friedman 10 at checkout for a 10% discount. That is going to do you a lot of good, save you some money, and it's going to help us and really soar us even higher with stats and your great support. Can't thank you enough. All right, my friends, so much to cover with you here this morning. There was some wide open fishing yesterday. There was some much slower fishing due to immense boat pressure. We're gonna cover all of that with you right now on the morning briefing. Let's jump across the border, take you over to the Ensenada area where there is still some bluefin and yellowfin and dorado down there around the kelps, even blind jig strikes from time to time. If you don't get bit outside, you can miss out there. It's not wide open. You do have to find that right kelp or get that lucky jig strike. But if you do, you'll be in good shape. If not, the inshore thing is still good down there in Ensenada. We're talking about bonita, bass, barracuda, all kinds of different species around Todos Santos Islands, Punta Banda area also there, University Point. Some other parts of the Baja coast have been very productive on those species. So you can have a lot of fun, catch a lot of fish, and do really well in Ensenada right now, whether it's offshore or inshore, I will tell you that right now. All right, let's cut to the chase. State record, what am I talking about? There are some big, big eye tuna being taken up north off Fort Bragg, along with some spectacular albacore fishing. We told you about that yesterday. Our friend Captain Pete Grossbeck was talking about his buddy, or I should say his boss, Kevin Harvey, and Kevin Harvey up there in that neck of the woods a couple days ago had two for four on the Big Eye Tina. I'll get back to Kevin in one moment, but I've got to start out with C.J. Joseph, 
who had a spectacular catch yesterday. They caught a big eye tuna that taped out to 292 pounds, would have shattered the California state record at 240 pounds. That is incredible, CJ. Congratulations. That is a magnificent catch. No question about it. They gill and gutted the fish. It sat in an ice bag for 12 hours and it weighed 225 pounds after it was gill and gutted and sat in an ice bag for 12 hours. Wow. What a fish, CJ. Way to go. And CJ said, if you're going to mention this fish, you have got to mention the two guys that were out there with me because they were instrumental to this great catch. Hans Forney and John Schaefer. Hey, boys, good job. All three of you guys, what a magnificent catch. It doesn't get any better than that. Incredible. And just to kind of add a little spice to it, they also had 47 long fin, 47 albacore to go along with it. That is what I call outstanding fishing. Kevin Harvey on the controlled chaos. He's been messing with these big guys. He's been really trying. You know, weather windows up here in this territory are few and far uh, between because that weather gets awfully nasty up there. But Kevin was out again yesterday on the controlled chaos. They had a fish that was a magnificent fish, 225 for them. That was a fish in the round. They missed the state record by 15 pounds. CJ probably had shattered it, but they didn't get that on a certified scale. So I'm telling you, that is pretty darn remarkable. Fort Bragg, great albacore, big eye tuna running around. You got to have the weather window, but when you get it, you are seeing some magnificent catches. My hat's off to all you guys. You too, Pete. Good job. Fantastic fishing up there in that neck of the woods. Let's come back down south here to San Diego and talk about some incredible fishing also. In fact, I just talked to Jacob Barclay on board the Pegasus, and his night bite last night was really excellent. 18 guys. They had a few 20 to 40 pounders, but most of it was 50 to 100 pounds. It was incredible last night. And Jacob says, Phil, don't ask me why, but jigs with red, red colored jigs got bit 100% more than any other jig we were sinking down to them. Three to 400 grams, drop it down to the depth the captain tells you to drop it to. You'll do that with metered line, line that is colored and changes color every 100 feet. That is essential dropping when the captain tells you to drop but something with red in it. Now, will it be purple tomorrow? Will it be green tomorrow? One never knows, but I'm just telling you what Jacob told me. It had to have had red to get a bite. It really worked excellently. So really great fishing going on in the Pegasus. In fact, their 2.5 day trip previous to this trip, they had 11 guys. They had 10 fish from 80 to 200 pounds. Wow. Those are beautiful bluefin tuna. They had 50 yellowfin tuna to go along with it. The fortune. We were just on a great trip with Rick Russell on the fortune. Had so much fun with him. They finished up a great trip with limits of bluefin tuna to 280 pounds. Man, that is great fishing. These guys are kind of fishing around San Clemente Island where they have been just all over the bite. And it has been flat, darn good fishing. So several boats in on that night bite last night. Many, many boats with limits of bluefin tuna. I'm very excited because Wednesday night we are going on board the Amigo out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. You guys were on that trip. You hear that red jig thing? I don't know if you need to spend the money to do it, but we'll keep you in touch with the very latest. But it really sounds good. And our weather looks fantastic for that trip, so I'm very excited about that one. Bob Looney was on board the producer. Bob Nice catch there. He said it was wide open tuna fishing. Doesn't get any better than that. Now, we do have local fish that I need to talk to you about. We have fish that is accessible for the San Diego one-day boats, Oceanside boats, Dana Wharf boats, um, just about up all up and down the coast. Channel Islands are picking at the bluefin tuna right now. So everybody is getting a shot at this, and I don't think you've seen the best of this bite. I think the best is yet to come. I've been talking about this late summer and fall bite. I've been talking about it rolling right through the winter time, and I do think that is a distinct 
possibility. I think we're looking down the barrel of a couple of months of spectacular fishing. Now to get back to this local fish, it's been really good at times. It is characterized by daytime long drifts. We call them plunker bites. I explained that yesterday. A few fish going all day long. So you may get into a two hour drift. You may get into a six hour drift and you've got to work really hard. You got to be fishing the right fluorocarbon. And by that, I mean the right pound test. We like Opsin fluorocarbon, www.opsinusa.com. That works really, really well. But you want to get bit on the heaviest string possible, okay? You want to get bit, if you can get bit on 100 pound, do it. Because you just never know what's going to bite your line. You just never know. If it's going to be a big fish, you want to get it. But you're not going to get bit. You're going to be getting bit on 25 pound to 40 pound in most cases, sometimes 60 pound on this local fish, sometimes 20 pound. And on this fish, you know, there's a lot of 20 to, I want to say 80 pound fish. So that variety really presents a problem. You, as I say, you want to hook them on the heaviest line. Now you'll get bit by choosing a hot bait and changing that bait regularly in those long soaks. Work hard at this and your observational skills are so important. You've got to be watching the other anglers. You've got to be talking to your crew members on the boat that you're on and that's going to help you a great deal. Now scores yesterday ranged from pretty good on this local area to pretty darn slow. There was an immense amount of boat pressure on that fish yesterday as I told you there would be. I mean come on. It's great fishing, world class going on here in Southern California. Beautiful weather. You know there's going to be a lot of boats, especially when it's as close to home as it was. But some guys came up with some fish. There's fish off Del Mar. There's fish in the Channel Islands. There's fish here off Newport. It's really incredible what is going on. Mission Bell yesterday, 12 yellowfin, a bluefin, 7 Dorado. San Diego, 49 yellowfin, a Dorado to go along with it. Sea Watch, 9 Dorado, 1 yellowfin, tuna. And a lot of these LA Orange County based boats had scratchier fishing. I surmise that it's going to pick up here today. A lot of that boat pressure will come off. That fish has gone nowhere. They saw evidence of it yesterday. It's up boiling around, you know, kind of teasing everybody. It is still here and you're going to see it get better and better and better. So hang on. And we're talking about local boats getting in on this. The Enterprise out of Pier Point Landing in Long Beach. Several other boats, those guys there out of Dana are all over the fish. We've seen some really good fishing. The Fury on an overnight trip had 50 tuna yesterday. Nice hit for the Fury. The Amigo with 30 fish. So there are a lot of great opportunities available to you. You just need to vary your tackle from light to heavy. And at night, when you're fishing, if you're on a day and a half trip or better, you better have 100 pound spectra. At least I like 130, 200 pound liters. That's going to ensure that those little devils don't bite you off. It's not going to ensure it, it's going to make it less likely. Let's put it that way. Remember, the longer you're on a fish, the more that can go wrong. And you can just feel that if you've ever seen a guy on 25 pound and he's on the fish for over an hour, you're just thinking to yourself, oh my God. He's been on this fish too long. So remember, hook these things on as heavy as line as possible. Choose a good hot bait. Change that bait regularly. That will make all the difference in the world for you all. And I know there has been some outstanding cod fishing. A lot of you don't care about that old commercial rock guy, guy like me. Absolutely loves it. You get done on the bluefin tuna. Some guys are dropping in that deep water and coming up with some spectacular bottom fishing. I'll be watching the Pegasus because I know Jacob loves to do exactly that kind of a thing. Long daytime drifts. We call them plunker bites. That's what it's been here on the local area. Hopefully that's going to continue again here today. All right, let's talk a little bit about our island situation. Uh, down there at the Coronado Islands, a few yellows, Calico Bass, Comeni. Not too many guys are even going in there, but there's a few yellows. Pretty good calico fishing going on. Excellent deep water rock cod fishing nearby. Also up in the Channel Islands, there's been boats catching bluefin tuna. A lot of guys yesterday from one to four bluefin tuna. They're getting a shot at it. They're seeing it. It's going to settle in bites. Small shiny jigs, Daiwa Zakanas, 100 to 150 grams are very effective. If you're bait fishing up there, 40, 60 pounds, same admonition about getting bit 
on the heaviest line you can. And the customer service up there in the Channel Islands is spectacular on most all those boats. Make a friend with a crew member. And don't forget, take care of these boys when they're all done because, man, they are working their tails off fishing all night long. It's a hard job. And if you recognize them with a good tip at the end of the day, that is always deeply appreciated. So a lot of stuff showing up at the islands up there in the Channel Islands also. Boats that are fishing for cod are doing fantastic, really great fishing, including up there in Santa Barbara. They've been focusing some of their attention on some days on ling cod fishing. The other day they had limits on the ling, so that is some spectacular stuff that is going on. In the surf, we continue to see some pretty darn good fishing. There's been spot fin croaker, yellow fin croaker. The water's cleaned up much nicer. This is perfect for Corvina fishing right now. Dig up a sand crab, toss it out there on some light gear, six pound, four pound. Some guys even drop down to two pound if you really want to have a tussle. It's been good lately. And also we continue to see some halibut up and down the coast here. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, fishing around Dog Beach here in Huntington Beach, California. Uh, Larry Curry had a spot fig croaker and a halibut. Larry, nice going, my friend. Also, Eric Sakuri. He was up at the Marina Del Rey Bait Barge. You can fish there on the Bait Barge, and it's a lot of fun. And he had this nice Sargo. That qualifies as a surf bite or a coastal bite for sure. Don't forget your surf fishing headquarters in beautiful Southern California. If you want to go surf fishing or even big game fishing, drop in on my friends at Big Fish Bait and Tack on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. Man, you get your bait and you're right here, right in the zone. I can walk there in 10 minutes. Well, maybe 12 minutes, all right? So really, some good stuff going on in the surf right now. We are loving that also. Hey, I skipped over Nick Ramirez because this local coastal bite, or did I skip over? Yeah, I did. The local bite, we gotta hit that. Down there in San Diego, still some good uh, calico bass fishing going on. A lot of shorts down there. But some good calico fishing, occasional yellowtail and white sea bass for the San Diego local boats. Oceanside boys picking away at the bass in there on the local scene. Even a couple of halibut here recently for some private boater guys up there around Dana. Some uh, whitefish, uh, sheep's head, uh, some bass fishing. That's been pretty good. Remember, this tuna is so close that a lot of guys are focusing their attention out in that neck of the woods. Up here in the L.A. Orange County area, water's trying to clean up. Finally getting back, we're seeing some more bass. Really good white fishing, sculpin fishing for the local boats. Look at that ocean. Man, is that flat calm and absolutely gorgeous this morning. And Nick Ramirez, who's a Patreon member for Freeman Adventures. Incidentally, thank you so much for being a Patreon member. It helps us to produce more content for y'all. We'll continue to do that. Nick was on board the Spitfire yesterday out of Marina Del Rey Sport Fishing. Nick way to go my friend he said by 10 a.m they had limits of bass and limits of sculpin doesn't get any more wide open doesn't get any better on a beautiful summer like day here again today in socal man that is some really good fishing i have to make a confession to you all and this is not a political thing i don't get into politics here but i am a man that appreciates fine art and i've angered my wife and I've angered many of my friends, and I just want to apologize, but I had to do it. And I spent probably more money than I should have, and I have some regrets about it, but not that much. I purchased a Hunter Biden uh, beautiful portrait. Um, I'm a big Three Stooges fan, and when I saw this, it spoke to me. I wondered why Mo was poking Larry in the eyes. What could Larry have done that was so bad? And why was Mo so mean? All of these things were conjured up in my heart and soul. When I saw this, I had to buy it. So I apologize if that offended any of you. And I think with that painting, I can live my life in fulfillment and gaze at it every single morning for inspiration. That is for sure. All right, my friends, uh, good stuff here in SoCal. There's some tremendous fishing going on. Love that big eye tuna bite up there mixed up with some albacore. It's like we're not even talking about the albies anymore because we've got these state record big eye tuna. Will it fall today? Maybe. Don't forget, nighttime red jigs 
That seemed to make a difference. Incredible fishing going on. Boat pressure coming off. That's going to make a big difference. Tonight, Tackle Shop Confessions with Sam De La Torre. Sam's got, you know, kid stuff on Tuesdays right now. And that's way more important than anything that we are doing. You know, soccer and baseball and all that. So we'll be here live from Island Fishing Tackle this evening at 6 p.m. It's the perfect time to ask Sam, what red jig can I get from you? What's the tackle discount this week? What is the best way to take a 300-pound bluefin tuna? You can ask Sam De La Torre all those questions tonight on Tackle Shop Confessions right here live at 6 p.m. All right, my friends, have a wonderful day. I hope you are doing well. There's some tremendous sword fishing opportunities going on right now. And as always, I can't thank you enough, and I hope to see you really Really, sir.